everyone. So I've decided to put together a little bit of video from the last month of me trying to not drink coffee and sugar. I thought it might be interesting to chronicle as the weeks go by to see if anything changed, if I was having like a better time with it or whatever. So here we go. Here is how my month went. So I figured I would kind of try to document this month and my no coffee and limited refined sugar journey. Today is day seven of the challenge. Now I have to be completely clear here. I was drinking so much coffee that I didn't feel like it was a good idea to just cut off cold turkey. I am very sensitive to caffeine and because of that I am very addicted to caffeine at this point from having so much coffee and so I get really bad migraines from caffeine withdrawal so I was worried that if I went from ultimate caffeine consumption to nothing that my head would basically implode. For the first three days I just had a little bit of coffee every morning and then day four, five, and six I had Excedrin in the morning instead of coffee and today I haven't had any Excedrin and I definitely have like a mild headache but it's not the horrible migraine that I'm used to getting. I'm worried I might start to develop it but at this point I don't have it. I've been keeping Excedrin on hand just in case. Sugar wise I've been craving that really badly too. I'm not having any dessert so I'm not having ice cream, I'm not having chocolate, I'm not having cookies, I'm not having any of those things. I am still having almond butter which has sugar in it so I'm still counting that as okay. It's more of a limited refined sugar intake than none at all. But like yesterday I was like really angry for no reason. Every day my brain has been like, you don't have to do this challenge. You could just go get coffee. There's no one telling you you have to do this. There's nothing on the line. I've also had the thought like no one will know if you got coffee. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is that it is a challenge for myself and I want to do it because I want to do it. It's like a, a mental thing. Right now I'm hating it, like I'm absolutely <laughs> hating that I made this decision because all I want is to drink coffee and I want ice cream and I just have to remind myself that I can't have them. So I'm hoping that this is the worst of it and that sometime during next week I will start to just feel normal and not have these cravings so bad and not hate my life so much. But this week has not been easy. That's the thing, so I guess I'll see you back in a week. It's 14 days in and I still feel so bad. Like, I feel like a zombie. I keep having headaches every day. Like, I keep having these headaches where I have to just take naps. I'll come home and I can't think I'm lightheaded and I'm nauseous. A lot of times it's late enough that it's not good for me to take any Excedrin because the caffeine will keep me up at night. Part of me is a little bit worried because the second half of this month is going to be pretty busy on the weekend. I'm really worried about feeling bad and part of me is like maybe I should just go ahead and jump back on the coffee and make myself feel better so I have a good time doing these things but the other part of me is like well maybe if I give it another week it'll be okay. So I'm thinking I'm at least giving it another week. I'm going to deal with this weekend and get through next week and see how I'm feeling. Hopefully the migraines will subside and I can enjoy New York City and the oncoming stuff that's going on at the end of October in the way that I'd like to. The sugar thing isn't as bad, but I'm also not completely off that. I'm just severely limiting. Um, like I haven't had desserts, but there are some instances where I've had stuff that's higher in sugar than maybe necessary, but I've tried to limit it. I'll check back with you next Friday and see how things are going then. It is Friday the 21st. It is week three. It's like 11.30 at night and I had completely forgotten to do my update. Last time I talked to you I wasn't sure if I was going to finish this out because I'm going to New York tomorrow and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to deal with not having caffeine. But I've been talking to everybody and it sounds like I'm, I'm at the 21st day now. I might as well keep going basically what it's a week and three days left. I can totally do it. My headaches have not been that bad this week and today I don't think I've had one at all so maybe that's a good thing. Some people were saying in the Arondanaut hangout when I was talking about this that maybe I'm just still dehydrated because a lot of the water that I was getting I was getting from the coffee and when I stopped that 
and I haven't been drinking more water to like replace the coffee, maybe that was the issue. So I've been trying to drink more water and it seems like that's maybe helping. I, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm sad that I'm not gonna be able to get coffee in New York. I know that seems silly, but I'm a little sad about it. We're doing good. This week has been significantly better. I felt less like a zombie, less just tired all of the time. Yay. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next week. So it is week four. Can you believe that? It is October 28th. We are so close to being done. And actually this past week has not been so bad. I've had some headaches, but it's been more from weather than I think from caffeine. The big thing that I've been doing is trying to drink a whole lot of water and that's helped a lot. So while I am still very much craving coffee, I am managing it better. I still feel like my productivity is probably lower than normal, so I'm interested to see when I start drinking it again what that's going to be like. And as far as the sugar goes, that's not something that I felt like I was gonna have a lot of trouble with because I've done it before. Now, that being said, tomorrow is going to be a cheat day because tomorrow is my family's Halloween party and there is no way I'm gonna go through that without eating some sugar, so. That's gonna be a cheat day, but once that's over, I'm going to be off it again still for Sunday and Monday, and then it is November 1st. And I've already made some plans with some coworkers to go get coffee on the 1st, which is going to have glorious caffeine and sugar in it. So I'll probably make this video last through then so you can see that. But yeah, this challenge, I did it, it's happening. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty proud of it. I'll see you guys later. It is November 1st, so it is time to drink my first coffee. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day. So, challenge is over. Coffee time. That last clip I took earlier today. It is November 1st, and I have now had coffee again after being off of it for a month. As you have seen, it wasn't exactly easy, and it was strange, and... I don't really know why my body reacted the way it did. I honestly expected that after like two weeks I would feel fine and back to normal and I would feel like maybe I don't need coffee. I know it sounds like I'm being melodramatic, but I really felt like so much of this month I was in a haze and maybe it was psychosomatic. Maybe it was just me thinking like, uh, I want coffee. I feel like I'm lost without it, like I'm not complete, but I don't know. I, I felt a definite reduction in motivation. I just enjoy the taste of coffee. I like the experience of going to coffee shops. They're just, they tend to be kind of cool places to go to. There's one in particular that I like around here. And so I missed out on that. I missed going to New York City and having coffee from a coffee shop in the city. Maybe it wouldn't have been as tough if I had also been having more sugar because the chocolatiness of the coffee that I tend to drink is really comforting to me. I like chocolate a lot. Chocolate is a very comforting food to me. So maybe that was a thing. On the sugar front, I did a good job of not having any dessert for all of October up until the 29th. As I told you, the 29th was my family's Halloween party, and there was just no way that I was not going to have candy and sugar and desserts on that day. I was making some of them myself. I just decided to give myself a pass that day, and what that ended up being was, oh, uh, I ate all of the sugar and stuff on the 29th, so why would it really matter if I eat it on the 30th and the 31st too, because we have all of this leftover. I almost made it with the reduced sugar, but not quite. Like I've said before though, I have in the past reduced my sugar content. Specifically, I've reduced the number of times during a week that I have dessert, and that's really helped. Um, so I think that's probably what I will continue to do, but I won't cut it out completely, because like I said, Chocolate is a comfort to me. I don't eat a lot of foods for comfort. Like, I don't typically stress eat. Occasionally I'll bored eat, but not like normally. Long story short, this month did not make me decide that I wanted to stop drinking coffee altogether. It did not make me decide that I wanted to stop having sugar altogether. But interestingly, this is the challenge that I've had the hardest time not breaking as far as restrictive challenges. So typically I find 
that I'm very good at just denying myself things. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just easier to not do something than it is to like do something extra. But this is definitely the first challenge where I've felt like I was going to break because I can't even tell you I was so close. I was not feeling good and I was just kind of miserable for a lot of it. But thank goodness that I had people encouraging me through and I made it. So... I'm excited to continue having coffee. I'm gonna try to have a little bit less than I was having before and maybe like a healthier version, but excited to be back on coffee. Still gonna limit the sugar. If you're watching to the end of this video, let me know. Have you ever done anything like this? Any challenges like this? Have you felt like it's easier to restrict than to add to your routine? And what was your experience like? Is there something you would challenge me to do next? This is actually interesting. I was having a conversation about if there is something that I wouldn't restrict if the, if there's a line somewhere and there are lines as far as like what is necessary to live my life and do all the things uh and you know fulfill all the responsibilities that I have but I wasn't sure that there was a whole lot of that so yeah what do you think is there something else that you would like to see me try to not do for a month or to see me do for a month I don't know I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do a challenge for this month but yeah okay thanks for watching and I'll see you all later